and the filler, thus securing them strongly. The bead is now ready. stage, the bias cut plies are assembled at opposite bias or direction with a thin layer of rubber compound called the squeegee in between. Breakers are added for physical protection of the casing from sharp objects like nails and rocks. This added protection is particularly useful in the case of OTR tires. JK's OTR tires offer customers double breaker protection. The higher the ply rating, the higher is the load carrying capacity of the tire. The edges of the plies which go into making OTR pockets are covered with a tough rubber compound for extra durability. These pockets can now be taken to the tire building section. It is at this stage that all the component parts of the tyre are assembled. The flipped beads, the pockets, the tread, the sidewalls and the chafers all come together on the tyre building drum. pocket is centered on the drum with the help of a laser. A thin coating of stearic acid reduces friction and helps align the pockets. Heavy duty bottom stitchers consolidate the pockets. The pressure is monitored and adjusted electronically. The gigantic OTR vehicles have contoured rims and the beads have to be aligned so that they fit the curvature of the rim precisely. The flipped beads are aligned and fused with the casing by side stitchers. Here, a 32 ply rating 1825 VEM99 OTR tire begins to take shape. multiple layers of heat-resistant chafers. Optimal numbers of fabric chafers. And several stacked sections of tread go into this precisely engineered product. joints on each layer are staggered. Whereas normal tires have one chafer made of fabric, OTR tires have a double fabric chafer and a rubber chafer. Finally, a strip of especially designed rubber is applied to the beads to act as an insulator when the tire is running. Two sidewalls from the single line extruder are now added to the casing. The end product of this process is what is called a green tire. The green tyre can now go for oiling, where needles prick it to release volatile compounds which would otherwise create voids inside 
and weaken the tire. The green tire comes to the mammoth curing press. The process of vulcanizing the green tire by subjecting it to heat is called curing by the tire industry. Hot water and high pressure steam is pumped inside the bladder. The external portion of the tire is cured by low pressure dome steam. Inside this huge machine, the green tire takes the pattern of the moon. JK Tire's OTR products offer customers maximum flexibility because of the non-directional tread design with patterns optimized for added safety and extra pulling power. After the curing process, the steaming hot tire is allowed to cool down. This quality control measure guards against dual rubbing and ensures that each and every tire meets the exacting dimensional requirements every customer expects. The OTR tires are trimmed and inspected to ensure that they match up to JK's stringent quality standards. It is only when a tire passes all tests that it can be sent to the finished goods section, ready for shipment to any part of India or the world. JK Tire's state-of-the-art production plant works round the clock to manufacture the toughest OTR tires in the country. Every stage on the factory floor exhibits total commitment to quality and adherence to precision. continues to justify its Quality Management System Certification TS16949, the strictest in the world. Every detail in input and processing and every quality check, end and intermediate, adds up to produce a technologically superior, heavy-duty OTR tire that gives the customer total protection under punishing working environments. JK Tire's OTR range stands ready to take their place under the sun. Equipped to excel in a landscape without roads, they are born to run. <laughs>